Hello and welcome to our beauty, fashion and lifestyle show. Why not Whiskid or Drake? Thames reacts to rumors she was pregnant for future. Israel, DMW and Shoma Adeleke spotted at Davido's cousin Tunje graduation in London. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner finalized divorce after messy custody battle. Aspinall of London drops NYC inspired luxury leather collection for fall. And Selena Gomez goes old Hollywood glam at Emilia Perez TIFF premiere in sleek sequin gown. And on our trending segment, Nigerian singer Thames has addressed the bizarre rumors that circulated on social media about her being pregnant by American rapper Future and is clearing the air. During a recent interview where Thames discussed her music, tour and Afrobeats in general, she was asked the wildest thing that she has ever heard about herself. After some thoughts, she pinpointed the speculations from earlier in the year that claimed that she was pregnant for Future, who already has eight baby mamas. The speculation, which Thames described as one of the most outlandish she has ever encountered, had caught her completely off guard. She explained, I feel like people just take the most controversial thing you can think of. I was thinking, why am I pregnant? And for Future? Why Future? That's the craziest thing. Why not Whiskid? Why not Drake? Why not someone else? It will be the same thing, but with future, it's extreme, Thames explained. Now, why do you think she would say, why Whiskid? Why not Whiskid and why not Dre? Because um, she's had some kind of personal interaction with these people. True. So yeah. why? Future's like literally mm. off the wall. Like, why future? Yeah. I saw the video when she was talking about it and mm -hmm. I laughed so hard because <laughs> it's leaving me an ask, why future? Yeah, why future? I think it's because future has been known to, you know, do things with people, people. and, you know, have different children from different women people. Uh, different people so i'm sure they're looking like okay maybe terms is gonna you know be in that picture but i don't really see terms as someone who's like wow she, she you never know never know you never know <laughs> you never know but i do want to say something that yeah. drake mm. i know he's trying to holler at terms really i, I can tell oh is, is terms drake's type i could I think Big Booty is, is, is Drake's type. Really? Yeah. I've really seen yeah. some girls that Drake has been with. And, uh, most of them don't really have Big Booty like that. Mm. If Drake <laughs> tried to talk to me, what would you do? If Drake tries to talk to me, girl, <laughs> I'm there. Live at what? I like Drake. He's very neat. Very clean. I like the, exactly. Oh. I like the cleanliness behind yeah. Drake. And he's very <laughs> soft spoken and all of that. Even though I know that he's a bad boy. Yeah. Okay, guys, on to our sports segment. Israel DMW and Choma Adeleke were both sported at Davido's cousins Tunji's graduation. On social media, Israel posted pictures with Davido's wife to share memories of the event. Other slides of the post showed Israel with other associates and, of course, the graduate Tunji. I love how um, Shama is looking nowadays. Mm -hmm. Like she she's so really happy. Pretty. Yeah. Oh, kudos to Davido. I'm so happy yeah. for her. Yeah. And she I was... think this whole staying off social media thing mm. really helps. Yes. I think I advise most celebrities to just you know stop this whole social media. It really yes. helps because that thing can put you into depression, really. But you know what? There's mm -hmm. one page on social media that's uh, dedicated to her. And mm. th this page always posts all these personal things of her. And they're like, yeah. how is this person getting all these pictures? Yeah. They're thinking that she's actually the handler mm -hmm. undercover. That's what they're thinking. Maybe maybe she might be, or maybe someone close to her, you know, will do that. There are a lot of dedicated, you know, pages that I've seen, like Die hard fan. There's one lady on Instagram that all her posts is all about, you know, Choma and wow. Davido. They even post prayers like, oh God, today wow. we pray for David. And I'm like, <laughs> people wow. are upset. I'm not joking. Like, Choma has a lot of fans on social media. Yeah, but just like you said, she looks really pretty yeah. right now. So, yeah. Very beautiful appearance by Choma. And on to our editorial segment, Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are officially divorced. The access came to a settlement on Tuesday, though the details are confidential. Information about their child custody agreement for their daughters, Willa and Delphine, is also unclear. In light of finalizing his divorce, Jonas sang a rendition of U2's I Still Haven't Found What I Am Looking For during the Jonas Brothers show at the arena in Dublin, Ireland on Tuesday night for a video posted to TikTok. Jonas pulled the plug on his four-year marriage to Turner in September 2023. The former couple's divorce proceedings immediately turned nasty as they attended mediation sessions to figure out the details of child custody. Girl. Girl. Why is always 
drama when it comes to celebrity yeah, divorces. I don't know. And then why do wow. they divorce so often? It's so sad. And you know, when you look at these couples, you're always looking forward to like, oh, they're going to be the best couple. They're going to yes, last. Yes. And they just end up disappointing yes, you. When I saw yes. Joe Jonas and, you know, his partner, I really thought that that marriage was going to last. And then seeing them break up after four years. It's always so nasty. Yeah. Oh. Always very messy. It's, it's so sad. It's so sad. Please, you guys, fix yourselves. Heal <laughs> first before Heal. going into marriage. Yeah. <laughs> And on our new collection, Aspinal of London has dropped its latest Hudson collection, a new line of luxury where classic English craftsmanship meets New York City chic. Shoppers can sift through an assortment of pieces for every occasion, including bags, torts, pouches, and more. Each draws inspiration from the iconic Hudson River that runs around the city. And these new silhouettes might change how some people might feel about typical street style. Add on, spicy or not, it's Selena Gomez's time to shine. The actress and singer walked the red carpet at the 2024 Toronto International Film Festival premiere of a new movie, Emilia Perez, wearing a black sequin gown. The sparkling Rhoda Ted design featured a playful peplum detail at the waist along with a strappy neckline that was then embellished with a large flower pin. While Gomez walked the red carpet posing for the camera, she revealed Tiffany and Co. jewels and a pair of strappy black satony heels, which peeked through her dress, tie high slit. Oh, Ooh, wow. She looks really good. So good. Yeah. I, I think love Selena it. really slays. She has been, you yes. know, lately, yes. she's been yes. slaying. I love it for her. Looking really, really good. And, you know, you heard that news about her not being able to Have carry kids, her own kids. Yes. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. So I feel bad. like it's really sad. But she's happy about it. You know, she says she can adopt, mm -hmm. she can do yeah. surrogacy. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy for Thank her. Thank God we have those options yeah. now for women. Because, yeah, you know, if it was back in the day, I don't think we really had, you know, much of an option yes. when, you know, you can yes. carry your own child. Yes. And then the stigmatization that comes with it you yeah. know as a woman mm -hmm. when you cannot have your own kids yeah. it's really really crazy yes. but i'm happy that you know people have options now especially mm -hmm. women when yeah. it comes to childbirth but Definitely. selena is really killing yeah. it with her fashion she is. and i'm happy mm -hmm. that she can't you can't tell that she has lupus mm -hmm. she's you know healthy she's managing it yeah. well hopefully. i love it i love it for her mm -hmm. don't forget to catch us up at spice tv underscore africa until the next episode you have a lovely time bye